Hey guys, in this video I'll be covering how I went through the hard mode difficulty in the Fort Condor minigame in Final Fantasy Rebirth. Now this is the hard mode challenge for the easy mode or I should say the normal mode. You can really use any party composition, it doesn't really matter too much. And for normal mode, usually what you likely have more success in is using number one which is the balanced one and really any two heroes will do and that will actually get you through all four stages all you have to do is really just pick the, the units that uh, sort of wins the enemy the enemy's type you can refer to the chart at the top where the shield beats the sword the sword beats the the archer and the archer beats the shield so as long as you purchase the right units corresponding to the enemy units you'll be able to, to defeat normal difficulty no problem when it comes to hard difficulty though the difference in hard is that the enemy units strength in relation to your units are stronger and often you find yourself struggling to defeat the enemy units especially with the time requirement in place so in this video i'll be covering the approach that i took you could sort of personalize the approach across all four stages but what i found that actually did work for me is that just go for this party composition right here which is team number three and the reason you go for team number three is team number three has access to the ballista and the ballista works very very well in hard mode difficulty and you will be using all three of them if you place them strategically throughout the battle they will help to complement your units and as long as you still pick units that you know deal weakness to the enemy units combined with a ballista you should be able to come through now there is also the ballista in number four however number four has greatly reduced normal units so it focuses more on defensive units the problem with number four is that there's so few units that you can pop and none of them are the elite units which make it very challenging for your front runners to survive and also very challenging to eventually summon your hero so i wouldn't recommend number four go for number three you don't need the trebuchet just go for the ballista and it should work with that i'll head on into one of the battle to give you an example of the strat and again i'll, I'll just be covering one of the four stages so that the video isn't too long but I've done it, you can use the same strategy across all four stages. Sometimes you might have to redo the fight two or three times because you know you might get unlucky and the enemy AI or the AI controlling your uni units might not work out. But generally speaking, the strategy should work across all four stages of hard mode difficulty. And at least it's easy, you don't have to you know, remember four different strategies, just one strategy will take you through the entire hard mode difficulty. Let's jump into the match. Alright, the first thing you want to do as you enter the stage is immediately look at the sliding bar on the right. It tells you which of the first two lanes the enemies will start spawning in. They always go sequentially, it's one lane first followed by the other. Some stages you might start off with the left lane, in which case you obviously place your leads on the left. The first unit you should buy is the Ballista. Place it all the way back, as far back as possible. The best position I think is right in front of the Condor statue because it lines up very nicely with the choke point and will allow, allow you to do AoE damage to enemies there as they gather. Right after the Ballista, immediately purchase the three ATB elite units when you can. And the first elite unit that you buy obviously is the one that counters the first enemy unit that spawns. Now you can also purchase a cleric if you have a spare ATB. I did purchase one here. But essentially what you want to do is try to purchase more and more units to block off the choke point. Here it got a bit hairy because some of the units apparently just slipped by. But you can see for the most part the condor unit you have at the back will also serve to protect your ballista. And if you purchase elite units eventually you will win the struggle because the Ballista is also supplementing the damage that you do. I purchased another Elite Vanguard there on the right lane so that I can win the battle there. And then here the left lane starts spawning, so you just do the same strategy. First purchase the Ballista, place it as far back as possible. My Ballista there isn't optimally placed, it could be a little more to the back. But you get the idea, 
and then do the same thing purchase an elite unit that counters the enemy unit at this point there's only one cleric left and i would recommend to save the last cleric try not to spend too many atb buying clerics at the start because they eat up your atb and you really do need the units to start advancing forward with the ballista power and as long as you purchase units that counters the enemy unit type you will comfortably win the choke point battle i should call it and you will start advancing the line forward don't worry about the time you will have a lot of time to spare as you push forward continue on with the same strategy save your last ballista first just keep purchasing elite units whenever possible that again counters the enemy units when you are pretty close to summoning in the hero units quickly get the two atb bar purchase that unit toggle your hero unit and as you can see i immediately start purchasing my heroes here make sure when you purchase the heroes position the heroes right in the middle of battle in as many enemies as possible because when your heroes spawn in they will do an aoe attack that really does a whole ton of damage to enemy units and you can see just summoning barret and cloud there really sort of kill all the enemy units once you have sort of cleared the way and you know you are working towards the boss this is when you purchase the last ballista place it as far back as possible again because the bosses tend to have nasty close range aoe attacks and the ballistas are very prone to damage purchase the last ballista and it will help you to supplement damage here the boss is already dead i have like 24 seconds to spare one last thing at the end you still have one more cleric to spare as well so if you have enough units in the field and if your heroes are starting to take serious damage quickly purchase the last cleric to heal up your units otherwise at that point just keep stacking units and you should win the battle pretty quickly with the ballista in tow thanks for watching